Hello everybody and welcome back to some new throne ultra we're jumping in again this time we're going in as good old angel but this, unfortunately we do not have the crowns unlocked yet so we're gonna have to go and do that but we do start as good old bird here and to get our secret ultra this time around we just have to do one thing reduce our max hp so that shouldn't be too hard there's a few different mutations that can do that for us i think um there's at least one obviously that i know of uh, glass arm cannon but i don't know about others but there might be others but we should be okay here. Remember, as this character as well, we can fly over walls for a short time. We can also spend ammo to do stuff. I think it's to be invincible. Which is somewhat useful. Not for right now, but somewhat useful in general. Um, I'm going to take this again. This seems just really, really good. Even with melee, this seems very useful. I think it does regenerate. Yeah, as you can see, it regenerates ammo for other ammo types we're not currently using. Which I think is goddamn useful. But yeah, I think we turn invincible when uh, we spend our ammo with our right click. Which I'll try and use on occasion, but I'll probably just forget it exists and never use it. Which is my uh, my standard go-to option. I'd like to go crossbow, maybe. But this lance is pretty good, honestly. This lance is one of the better starting melee weapons. It's not the strongest, but it's good. Also, I really like this little phoenix skin we've got going on here. It's cool. Um... Open mind, we'll take that early to alleviate not having our regular mutation. But yeah, getting glass arm cannon, it is a very specific mutation. It's not like we've got a, like a couple to go for, so it might not be the, the thing that we can get on the first try, but we'll try our best. We'll try our best, and you are going down heavily, but good, sir. Thank you. Yeah, there you go. That's what we like to see. Level four already. See, that's increasing our maximum HP. We don't want that. I'm going to go with Bolt Marrow and try and work my way towards a Bolt Weapon that works well with that. Ah, I can't get all the way over there. It's a little annoying that there's some limitations on that, but I kind of get it. It would be very powerful if there wasn't any. I do like the fact that you can skip over just a few walls here and there to make life a little easier. Who we got left. And you can't shoot while you're over walls as well, which is a good idea. I like the noise it makes too. Oh. Hell yeah. Right. Through here we go. Right. Get us to the crowns. Get me to the crowns. These guys are going to be a pain. Just keep our distance. Melee makes these guys trivial. I like the idea of shotgun with melee. That seems fun. Yep. That is fun. Oh, just, just be able to fly over those walls there. See, there's a splinter gun there. We'll take that for our bolt marrow. It's not the best in the world, but it, it will it will definitely do some good damage for us. Um, Still no glass arm cannon yet. We do get some more golden weapons unlocked, though. That's never a bad thing. Keep our distance and just do that. Yeah. Couple of gold things unlocked. Nice. Yeah, this is this is very good with Bolt Marrow. I've got to say. Right, this should be one of the first stages where we can get to our uh, Crown Vault, I think. Normally it's about here. It's not always, but... It's normally around this time. Yeah, I think we've... Gone past the need to use our melee weapon now. I'll use it on occasion, but this thing is doing more than a good enough job. How is this thing meant to be better than that? This thing seems way better. Way, way better. Beautiful. Almost level 7 already. Beautiful. Who are we missing here? Who managed to escape? Hello, sir. I got you hiding in the corner. Right. Still no glass arm cannon, sadly. We'll take the fists, though. Why, why on earth would I actually open that? That was just foolish behaviour right there. If this thing was shotgun on, on enemies that die in one hit, 
is very, very good. Not as good on the bigger guys, but... All the enemies that are dying straight away... ...does quite a good bit of damage. Okay, try and use this a little bit though. I think we had another enemy down here, didn't we? Nah, I'm going to ignore it. I'm going to pretend I didn't see you, whatever that was. Stop respawning things, you. You big fool. Who we got over here? Look at this, flying over walls. It's beautiful. Okay, seven. Come on, glass arm cannon. We need you. There you are, glass arm cannon. We got you. I mean, we've got the we've got the damage setup going on. We've got the three super high damage. Uh. Super, super high damage thingies on at the moment. Mutations, so... Uh, that's good, at least. Up to 25 damage there. Honestly, I think Scarier Face just makes melee weapons insane. Although not as insane as I would have hoped. I think I'm just going to use this for now. I think this thing is just as insane. Bouncer shotgun. Let's switch to that, shall we? We do like bouncers. Anything bouncy bouncy is going to be good for us. Mini plasma rifle? Potentially, potentially. Haha, -ha. I get a round and behind you. Yeah, didn't you expect that, did you? Yeah, I'm gonna need some better weapons though. These, these, these are decent, but we could do, we could be doing so much better. We are level eight already though. Um, impact wrists really good. Extra wings. Oh, that's just extra feet, isn't it? I think. Um, negates weapon recoil. That's kind of interesting. I guess that could be pretty good with a, a few things. I'm gonna take that. You know. There's a few things I could be really good with. We got a tail end of this as well, so we get more burst power. Fire more shots per burst. That's always good. Hey, finally. We got the... Oh, I got a car lobbed at me there. I don't know how I survived that, I'll be honest. Splinter Spear Launcher. Give it a go. Seems interesting. Right, we can actually take a crown here. Don't know which one to take, to be honest. But we should take one at least. Um. Yeah, let's just go with that one for now. We just need something so that if we fail this next time, we can automatically equip our crown sort of thing. This thing's pretty good. I know he's going to land here in a second. Come on. Unfortunately, I'm having a very hard time hitting him, but I too shot him, so... Not a problem. I goddamn two shot him. The damage. The beautiful damage. It just kills everything so quick. Okay. Almost level 9. Probably should have taken both those ammo chests when I was nearly full ammo. That was a little bit stupid of me. Man, I love this weapon. Holy shit. Where has this thing been all my life? This thing's incredible. This thing is inc It just does so much damage. As I said, I wanted to make Bolt Marrow work. I didn't realise be, I'd be able to make it work this well. Good. Seems like we'll be getting that ultra mutation. As long as this reducing max health thing with glass arm cannon actually works. Which I'm imagining it will. Cool. 
We should have absolutely no problem with the boss here. Um, honestly, trigger fingers with this setup seems amazing. This thing's kind of slow firing. Later down the line, having this thing be able to fire faster is going to be good. Right, kill as many as we can before the boss spawns. Here he is. To ruin our day. Luckily, we annihilated him. Who's left? Oh, just a few of you, I see. Cool. Ah, really, we're so close to max level. So, so close. Yeah, like instantly got there. Look her off. Let's not die here, shall we? That would be absolutely tragic. Good, good. Right, did we get it? Yes, we did. Okay. Slightly longer deflect, also deflect on your crosshair. Nice. We used to deflect a little more here to make this viable, but. Try and keep this run spicy. Keep it going. Was there an explosive flail back there that I saw? I will take the explosive flail. It's generally pretty good. So how, how exactly does the deflect... Okay, the deflect does do damage. Nice. I need to use the deflect way more often now that I've got it. Exit straight away, I think. Oh, we actually got this thing last, this time. We, we were messing around with that in the last run, but we actually got it properly this time, rather than switching to it. Come on, little birdie. Forty damage a hit. That seems pretty good. Yeah, it's it's kind of like melee. I like the fact that I can do it where I aim. That's actually really, really nice if I can get used to that. Unfortunately, I don't think this is actually the best setup, really, in terms of weaponry for this boss. I think I'm going to have a bit of a hard time. Because this weapon's good, but only really amazing when you can kill other enemies with scarier face with it. Otherwise, it's not doing too hot. There you go, we got it there. We got it. Good. Did 80 there. Yeah, that's awesome. Nope. The fact that it works on your crosshair now makes it so much better. There you go. Nice and easy kill on this guy. And this next area should be pretty easy. Oh god, I forgot I had, uh, trigger fingers. I forgot about trigger fingers, my god. God damn. Yeah, forgot about trigger fingers, that thing goes mental. I can just kind of walk through. Oh, I forgot about you. Oh lord, there was a there was a lot of them there. But we managed to get the ultra there. This is actually a very, very quick run, I didn't realise. Let's do another quick run as this, as this character and see what we can get going on. Just because, why not? We enjoy the game, I'm not going to end the episode after 14 minutes. 20 minutes. 20 minutes is my bare minimum for a, for a nuclear throne episode. 25 is ideal. I do like this weapon. Tails end with this thing could be pretty fun. Yeah. Uh, Nuclear Throne episodes are generally shorter than my other series, but that's just because the game normally has very, very quick runs, which I appreciate. 
Of course, the runs can go really long. It's just if you're a god at looping, but I am no such person. Should be nearly dead. There you go. We got gotcha, you. We got gotcha. you. Scary affair still, I think. Hypersomnia. Ooh, that's like a chunky ammo there. These things have a lot of health, goddamn. Oh, I couldn't get the chunky ammo. Holy shit, I'm so fucked. I've just realised what I've done to myself here. But being able to fly over walls does make things easier. That guy's going to teleport me any second. It's going to be awful. Please stay away from me. What exactly is it you're doing, big, big boy? Ah, he just revives a bunch of them, but luckily Hypersomnia keeps them at bay. I've only got one HP, why? Oh, that was a Mimic! How dare you! How dare you! That was a Mimic. God damn it, I did not realise that was going to be a Mimic. I should have known because I think he revived it. I think I had previously killed it and he revived it. Tricky bastard. Is that it? Is that the rest of the stage done? Oh, come on, I can't fly over that. Are you kidding me? Why not? That was a very short stage, wow. Pop gun should do a decent job here. Deflect. Deflect. <laughs> See, the deflect, it costs ammo, but it's pretty goddamn amazing. Weapon stolen? No thank you. No thank you on the weapon stealing front, please. Especially on enemies like that, the deflect is kind of amazing. I'm going to try this again. Kind of forgot I had to fight him there for a second. Oh, wait. <laughs> Get fucking shit on me. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, we like that. We like that a lot. Um, Gamma Guts on this stage could be good. And... We'll go with Mood Swing for later. In fact, we've got a Flame Weapon right here, so let's just go for this. Yeah, gotta say, this is... This is a really, really gross way to start a stage game. Barely goddamn move. Shots coming from everywhere. At least I've got Gamma Guts, so I can kind of leave these little bitty ones to do their own thing. And I'll just carry on what I'm doing. Unfortunately, I've got two weapons here that take the same ammo type, which isn't really ideal. No, don't teleport me, big boy. Trying to use my double laser gun where I can here. He's reviving more things. It's just a generally very hard boss. Where's he gone? Oh my god, he just teleports so much. Hey, we got him, we got him. Good, good, good. There we go. Gamma Guts is a really nice way to just save us on ammo. Away we go. Um, having a bunch of patience is very, very nice. Do, do, do. What do we go for here? Power craving, maybe? And bloodlust, I think. Mood swing plus the fire weapons. Doing as nice 
Ah, come on. Okay, I think we'll leave it there. It would just cross 20 minutes. Bit of a shorter episode, I know. But we unlocked the Ultra. That's our main goal of each of these episodes, at least until we have them all unlocked. Um, and then we can go back to playing it more normally. But I really like having the objective for now. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.